First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Harakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that do rule well, that have taught me this truth. And I would also like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth unto the true servants, the prophets, the true and sincere servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and this doctrine. Unto you I say shalom. I also will laugh at your calamity. The Most High is laughing at, at, at you Jakes out there, you Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that continue to put your trust and faith in this system, in Babylon, in America, in these presidential candidates. All right, and this this lesson is really mainly on, you know, um, this election coming up, all right? Because... Whoever wins is gonna is just gonna is gonna spell definite doom for Babylon, America. Okay, and the Lord's gonna laugh. The prophets are gonna laugh. All right, Trump wins. It's gonna be violence. Uh, Harris wins. I kind of hope this bimbo wins. All right, she, you know, cause she is gonna she's gonna drive America right down the uh, 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 right down the drain. All right, she's gonna forward. She's gonna fast forward. Uh, uh, um, a lot of the destruction, okay, the race riots, all this shit, man. So, Lord willing, she wins because I think she's going to bring the destruction faster. But you Israelites that put your faith and hope and dreams and aspirations into these candidates, into this system, hey, the Lord's going to laugh at you, all right? I, I, I kind of, like I said, I kind of want her to win so I can laugh at all these dumb niggas that's out here voting, rallying, uh, um, all, man. I kind of hope she will, cause all these dumb niggas are putting their faith in it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna just laugh and say, you dumb niggas, man. You know that's what you get. You know the same thing like these niggas did with Biden. They went out there and was crying and rallying in the street and man. But what what what, what did he leave you with? All right, he left. Okay, he he man. That shows you that these these candidates they're chosen. All right, whoever whoever is going to push the agenda of the, the wicked elite, that's who's going to win eventually. And I, like I said, Lord willing, Harris wins because she's going to make shit move a lot faster. All right? And the, and the Lord's going to laugh and the prophets are going to laugh. Just like the prophets, all right, laughed at you niggas when that uh, pandemic came. All right? Niggas were scared. They didn't know if they was going to lose their job. They didn't know, you know, they 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 they, they, they didn't, they didn't want to get the, uh, the, 19, the C-19 because they thought they was going to die. Man, because a lot of the time, it really boils down to Jake, Israelites not having faith. Okay, they they don't have faith. They don't have faith in nothing that they can't see. All right, there's nothing that's um that that you know they can't. If it if it if it's not for certain, Jake don't believe it. All right, so let me get the first scripture. I was uh well the title of the lesson um Proverbs one and twenty. Wisdom crieth without; she uttered her voice. In the streets, and wisdom crying out in the streets is the prophets, okay? The the, the men that are uh, prophesying in this truth on the watchtower, giving Israel the warning, all right? Telling them, hey, don't trust in Babylon. Don't trust in America. Don't trust in this system. These candidates, this system is not for you, okay? It, it's destroyed you, all right? That, that's that's the wisdom crying out. She cries in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city, she uttereth her words, saying, how long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And being here in Babylon, you learn to be simple, okay? You you, you learn to love simplicity, all right? Because in Babylon, you don't, you know, the, the mind state is just go along with, with the agenda. Go along to get along, okay? Don't question anything, okay? And, oh, back to the scripture. And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. A true fool hates knowledge. A true fool is wants to just, you know, go with the program. All right. That that's how Babylon has conditioned the minds of our people to just go along with whatever Esau gives you. It's uh um whatever they say is the best for you. And that's what they're trying that's what they're essentially saying with these candidates. All right, well we'll do this and, and, and go with this candidate. Go with this candidate and you'll get this. They 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 they, they not, you know, they they Especially our people, all right. They they don't even expect you niggas to think. They just say, well, it's a black candidate, a so-called black candidate. We don't know what the hell she is. Is she Indian? Is she an Edomite? Okay, whatever. But they she they they give her the appearance of being a so-called black, 
and they just think niggas is supposed to vote for. They, and that shows you how dumb, you know, you Jake should be insulted. But that shows you how dumb, um, that's how Esau really feels about you. He said, these dumb niggas, let's get a rapper up there, some um, some athlete nigga to endorse, endorse her, and then, you know, she should be, she should have a, a, a one foot in the White House by then. All right? Um, back to verse 23. Uh, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I will make known my words unto you. The, the reproof is the correction, all right? The Lord is making known his words unto you by the prophets, by pouring out his spirit uh, un, unto his prophets to deliver the message, to, to deliver the warning. Because I have called and you refused, I stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Okay, the Lord is calling now, all right? But Jake refuses, all right? Jake don't want to see, Jake don't want to see uh, 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 the prophets. Jake don't want to uh, um, see the downfall of Babylon America. They want to see the first black woman in, in in the White House, that's what Jake is thinking. Okay, that that, that that's the you know and then you know say she does win in in niggas' minds they think that oh you know they they they've accomplished something. Okay, that they you know uh they they're you know actually moving forward. Okay, but yeah, like I said, I hope she gets in because she gonna move you niggas. She gonna uh, uh she gonna man she gonna put hell on Jake man she gonna put hell on you niggas you 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 Mexican niggas you Lat you know you Puerto Rican niggas you you Latino niggas too, okay, um, back to the script um, verse twenty five, but ye have set at not all my counsel in wood none of my reproof you you didn't want the correction, okay you put at not the counsel of the Lord, okay so what did the Lord say? Verse 26, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. All right, the Lord is going to, man, the Lord is going to laugh. All right, when, when you know, when, when, when you niggas come running and, and, and you know, trying to find a, a vision from the prophet, trying to get some uh, instruction, trying to get an answer to what, what the hell is going on. The Lord is going to laugh. The prophet is going to laugh. Okay, the so Lord, I said, I will mock when your fear cometh. When the fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh up upon you, then they shall call upon me, and I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they hated knowledge and did choose, did not choose to fear the Lord. Okay, the, the fear of the Lord, it says at the beginning of the chapter, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Or right, these Jacob out here don't fear the Lord, they fear Esau. They fear what Esau will do to them uh, if they don't vote. All right, niggas, they, they put a guilt trip on uh, on Jake if, if they don't vote. All right, uh, you, hey, brother, you vote? No, I ain't Oh, man, you got to go vote, man. You know, that, that, that that's, that's a, man, these niggas out here are so bugged out, these old patriotic, uh, uh, um, you know, um, uh, um, patriotic ass, uh, uh, Sambo ass niggas. All right, these old fake ass, boule ass niggas out here, man. These, these Jake is, Jake is through. All right, but it goes back to trusting and believing in Babylon. All right, Egypt. All right, the, the land of our captivity. Isaiah 30 and um, actually I'll start at one and I'm going to jump down to uh, verse nine. Woe to the rebellious children, say of the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin or iniquity. They take counsel of what? They take counsel of these candidates. They take counsel from the government. They take counsel from uh, these so-called the, 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 their, 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 um, these these uh, political leaders. They take counsel of, of athletes and entertainers. They don't take counsel of the Lord. They don't take the counsel that the Lord is um, giving them through the prophets. Okay, they walk and go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. All right, the president is pretty much the pharaoh and put trust in the shadow of Egypt. All right, hey, you go out in there voting, that's putting trust in Babylon because you think your vote matters and your vote makes a difference, okay? And, and at the end of the day, Esau showing you it don't matter, okay? You know, because everyone, hey, truth be told, everyone thought Hillary Clinton was going to win, okay? Just like everyone, you know, it pretty, it, it up to a certain point, it looked like Trump was going to win the sec the, uh, his, his second term, but, you know, Esau is going to put in there who's going to push their agenda, okay? So you thinking your vote counts and all that shit, it don't count, all right? You you trusting in a uh, 
a, a, a system that's that that a, a system that's faulted already. Okay, um, verse. I'm gonna jump down to verse nine. This is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not unto the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things. And these candidates, these are the prophets of these niggas, okay? These are the people that want that, that, that want to hear smooth things. They want to hear that, you know, it, it, um, you know, um, um, you know, things are going to get better for the working class and, 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 uh, they're gonna, you know, lower taxes and you know, all these fucking, all these promises, all these politicians make. All right, Jake wants to hear that. That's soothing to their ears, so they can, you know, that they can uh, have a reason and, and feel confident going out to vote, thinking that these politicians or these candidates are going to change, you know, the, the 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 shit that's going on here in Babylon. All right, change the conditions. And the conditions have, you know, with each with the past presidents have gotten worse and worse and worse. Nothing has gotten better. Okay. Um, Get out of the way, turn ye aside, out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease before us. The Holy One of Israel, Yahweh Shai. Wherefore, saith the Holy One of Israel, um, because ye despise his word and trust in oppression and perverseness, stay there on. Yahweh Shai going to laugh, all right, just like his father. All right, laugh at, the, laugh at their calamity. Therefore, this iniquity shall be unto you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out of a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant, all right. So that that this destruction, this uh, the Lord coming like a thief in the night is going to come out of uh, all of a sudden, all right. Right when you think the the person you voted for won, and you know things are going to get better, shit. It could be civil war. It could be EMP. It could be World War Three. It could be several calamities, uh, um, or or all of them all at once. Okay. Let me um jump over to um Isaiah thirty six. And um, sorry, that verse. Well, the point is verse six, only verse. Lo, thou, thou, thou trustest in the staff of the broken reed of on Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce him. So is Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to all that trust in him. All right. So you, you, hey, you know, you, you Israelites, you should be leaning on your Habashim Shai. You should be leaning on Babylon or anything that this place has to offer. But you lean on this, you, you lean on this place for, for help, okay, for, for, uh, uh, you know, for refuge, hey, that, um, that, that staff is going to go, it pierce you through, okay? And like I was saying before, Jake, Jake leans and depends on these candidates in these elections because Jake has no faith. Our people have no faith, all right? They say they have faith, but they really don't because if you got faith, you wouldn't be out here. Uh, uh, um, out here setting yourself up for failure, voting on these goddamn uh, um, presidential candidates, Trump or or Harris. All right, verse uh, Hebrews eleven and six. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and he that and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Jake has no faith. All right, you can't. They, they, Jake can't. It's impossible to please the Heavenly Father without faith. And you and Jake going out there getting mixed up in all this political shit, you know, rallies, voting. All right. And I see this, man. Everything I turn on, if it's a commercial, it's, it's, it's Kamala Harris. All right. And, and this is that's nothing but witchcraft that's playing on the minds of our people because they see that. And, you know, uh, 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 they, 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 they see it. They see it so much. It's second nature just to go vote for it. They, they, they make it's like a. You know, and Jake's going to make an event out of it, you know, like it's an event to go vote for Kamala Harris. All right. But, you know, that, that that's how Esau gets you niggas. Esau uses the same tricks every four years and you niggas fall for it every time. All right. I'm going to I'm going to go to uh, Deuteronomy 32 and um, verse 20. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very forward, forward generation children in whom is no faith. The Lord said you niggas didn't have no faith a long time ago. Okay? When we came out of when we came out of um Egypt. All right, Jake, Jake was lack faith. Okay? Jake was, you know, seeking for a leader. Jake was, you know, had to uh, uh they couldn't wait for Moses to come down from the mountain. They had to, you know, um erect a uh, a, a golden calf. All right, Jake ain't got no faith, man. And, and in these days, the faith is the one thing that's going to, you know, uh, guide you through your faith. Your your faith is you know faith in your works is, is what's going to um, you know deliver you essentially. 
Okay. Um, this is Second Ezra five and one. Nevertheless, as coming the tokens, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell on the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. Faith is going to be one of the most precious things that you're going to have that you can have in 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 you know coming into Jacob's trouble, uh, uh, coming into uh, these you know great plagues, and yeah, hell, you could even say coming into this election. Because a lot of people believe that Trump don't win, it's, it, it could possibly be a civil war. If if um, if Trump does win, you're gonna have a lot of people on the other side that that that's gonna be uh, uh, ready to um, you know get physical. So sh shit could kick off. You know, man, what, what, when's the election? Uh, November fifth. Shit could kick off November fifth. All right, sometime during that week. I know the election is on a uh, Sunday. I mean, it's Sunday. On a Tuesday, but hey, anywhere from the fifth to the uh, uh, seventh, something could pop off. You know, depending on what candidate wins. But you know, hey, Jake. You know, the, the niggas out there that's out there voting, y'all gonna be on one side or the other, okay? Because hey, you continue to trust and believe in this place. Um, let me go back to uh, Deuteronomy. What was that? Deuteronomy thirty-two, and I'm gonna jump down to uh, verse thirty-six. For the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants when he seeth that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left. And he will say, where are their where are their gods, their rock in whom they trusted, did which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offering? Let them rise up and help you and be your protection that's the lord mocking you niggas man that's the lord mocking jake all right telling you hey uh, um let 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 these gods let these presidential candidates let kamala harris let donald trump all right deliver you all right let let, let them um you know let let them uh, uh you know help you in your time of trouble okay let let them you know um you know uh, uh reach out to them and see if they can help you all right during jacob's trouble during famine all right, doing great pestilence. All right, because they're gonna be trying to say, ain't gonna be trying to help nobody. They're gonna be trying to save they, they, they own ass. All right. Um, let me get Judges ten and uh, thirteen and um, fourteen. Ye have yet ye have forsaken me and serve other gods. Wherefore I deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in your time of tribulation. Hey, let Kam Kam uh, uh, Kamala Harris, I say Kamala, K Kamala Harris uh, uh, deliver you from your tribulation, deliver you from Jacob's trouble, all right? Because people, these, the thing about our people, they're looking for a savior. They're looking for someone to, to uh, uh, um, you know, pretty much save them, all right? The savior is coming, all right? And his name is Yahweh Shah, all right? That's our, that, that's the, that's the elect, that's our savior. We know who our savior is. These niggas looking for a savior that, that, that. That, that that can't save theyself, okay? So hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord is sitting in the heavens, he, and he's gonna laugh hard. He's gonna have a good laugh, laughing at you, dumb niggas out there that that's continue to put trust in in Babylon, put trust in political candidates, put trust in this system, okay? So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash, Shalom.